Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires Mudrunner in multiplayer um, again with my friend Biz Rebellion and we are going to be doing a mini ultimate adventure where we're going to be towing uh, one of these trucks to an off-roading location and then we're going to be doing some hill climbs, we're going to be doing some rock crawling and some off-roading in general and then after that we're going to see which trucks we, uh, we think are more capable but first thing we got to do is use the polar truck to actually grab a trailer and get everything hooked up. So um, he's going to run the Raptor and I'm going to run uh, the Super Duty. And basically what we have to do here is first things first, I have to get a trailer on this truck, which I don't know if the garage area is like, I'm probably going to have to do something weird to get the, uh, to get the truck and trailer combo to fit because uh, they're both ridiculously large. Yeah, that is a huge truck. <laughs> it is. Like, the frame... Well, the frame of the truck is what makes it so long. It's like, the frame of the truck is designed to haul, like, um, like carriages and stuff like that. So, when you try to use it as, like, a semi-truck, then it makes it even longer. And it's almost to the point where it's not directly designed for that, like, that use. So, it's kind of yep. a bit... It's, it's a bit weird. But, let's see... Where's my... Where is... Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Alright. And then now... Oh, I need markers. So you need the hookup, you need the markers, and then you can do the full large tray. Oh my god. Holy crap. I was gonna say, <laughs> can you huge. see that? <laughs> oh yes. Is it... A little bit hard to miss. <laughs> yeah, um, it's also a little bit hard to turn it around. Wow. It's that... a little hard to turn around, and it's going to be, like, I'm going to have to back this into place to try to load my truck onto it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be, <laughs> I, I feel like it's not going to be easy. This, well, when you said it was a challenge, I think that was a little bit of an understatement. <laughs> uh, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to get this. I, like, you have to drive all the way out here just to straighten it out enough to back it up. Wow. <laughs> and then you have to drive forward. Well, hold on. Uh, oh, no, wait. It'll go straight. Yeah, you do well. You, you got it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in this general direction and then drop the ramps and just drive the uh, the red forward it just into a position. I'm not going to try and position this exactly with the other truck. I feel like I, I, I feel like that's just kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I was like I was trying yeah, to get it to do the go. um I was trying to get it to actually uh oh uh oh uh oh the um thing was being weird. Uh That's as low as they yep. go, apparently. So, I'm going to move the truck to where... I'm going to move the truck to where it's there, close enough to the ground that it's not, you know, that we're not having to deal with anything crazy. Yeah. And then try to drive this truck onto it. It should go up no problem, but that's easier said than done. This looks so strange to me because you're... Big truck now has gone invisible, so you're just driving oh, up in thin air. <laughs> I'm just driving. I just realized that. I didn't even think about um I didn't even think about how that was gonna come into play, but yeah, it yeah. it kinda <laughs> does work that way, but I go back into the polar truck now and then Let me see. What is the Oh oh okay. So that's I was trying to figure out what option I was adjusting and it was the trailer legs. Right. Pull everything back up. So oh, there we go. Am I gonna need to put this onto one of those big trucks too? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. I so, was I was afraid you were gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, the the whole idea of the challenge is that we both have to drive one of these to a predetermined location. Then once we get there, we unload the trucks, 
and then we'll use, uh, and then we'll go off-roading in the trucks. The going off-roading yeah. part, like, in the rock crawling and stuff like that, that's gonna be the easy part, believe me. Okay. <laughs> Compared to this, that's gonna be the easy part, so, um, I'm actually gonna back up over here. Well, sort of over there. Um, just because I want this truck in a good position, uh, so that when you get yours ready to go, we're, like, we're both set. Right. So is there any your... to put uh, onto this? There, well, Did you say pens? Yeah, some of them are in a different language. <laughs> so I see. You're gonna need the beacons, and then you're gonna need scroll through the list until you find the actual like trailer hitch because I can't remember exactly what they uh, call it. Sedlo. Death should be. And real quick as well, I'm gonna switch to the Raptor so that I can kind of drive around <laughs> and watch. Oh my God! See, see, like I can see the setup with my truck on the back of the big truck, and it just looks insane. Yes. I love what they did also with the lights on the Raptor. Oh, yep, he's good. <laughs> wow, they, yeah, you were not joking when you said this thing is hard to turn. <laughs> it it doesn't turn. Like it's just so so huge. I mean, I know the comments are going to have a field day with the oh, it's so huge, <laughs> oh, but <laughs> that's what she said and all that. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you know what? You know what? I wonder if, like, so if you were to go into advanced mode, right, and yeah. lower the ramps, I wonder if they have it, and I don't know if they do or not yet, but lower the ramps and see if I can, like, drive up them. Because in the old game, you couldn't do that. I... Because, like, they didn't Which... have the collisions in multiplayer worked out to the point where you could do that. But I, they may have, they may have changed that, but I'm not sure. You, you'll have to tell me if I'm. Ah, there we go. I got it. Yeah, you're good. Uh, just a little tip for that too. You can use the uh, number two key to switch to trailer cam. Oh yeah. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh nope, that doesn't no. work. No. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless. Okay, that's fine. Um. So okay. if you switch to yours, that truck should go invisible for me. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be quite funny to watch then. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I just gotta get in a good spot to watch it. Right here works. Here we go. Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's. It looks so ridiculous. It looks like you're just doing a glitch or something. Yeah. But regardless, okay. So I'm switching back to my... Uh oh, there we go. The polar truck. And we're ready to go. So let's see. I need to pick a good route for us. I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Because I know if you go up to the left um, or really to the right or go straight... Um, you can find some good areas pretty quick. Let's go left. Like the area that goes to the log station. Okay. Yeah, not like immediate left down to the water or anything, but like left through here. What have you got uh, on you your on... hood? Um I think it's like a like a cover for when it's when it's cold outside or something later on. <laughs> Maybe to like help keep the heat in so you can keep yeah, yeah, yeah. hot enough. You got it. And I think I've... No, I've done... I'm good. Did you... Were you about to say you've gotten stuck? No. <laughs> I was gonna say, like... <laughs> best not be getting stuck already. Nah, I... I... I think I bottomed out my trailer just for a second or so. Yeah, that sucks. Like, I've... Oh my god. I, you don't want to know how many times that's happened to me. With, with this truck, it happens <laughs> way too often. Like way like it's like it's not like it's not even funny how often that crap happens yeah i can imagine oh. it's because it's so long yeah oh god i don't know if i'll be able to make this turn no way okay i'm gonna have to reverse and then 
yeah, go back forward again just to make it around that corner, and I'm still going to barely miss that light pole. Oh, wow. You see the corner I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you can this make that in one shot. Super wide turn in here. No, there's no way I'm making this in one shot. Yeah, no way. I, I, I didn't think there would be, but still, that's like... It's it's close as hell. It's like <laughs> if it is the front wheels don't really turn all that much because they're no. so big and chunky. Yeah, they're they're to be fair, I think too wide for any kind of like road driving. So yeah. they you end up finding yourself in this really weird this really weird in between where you have to just reverse a bunch. But like I mean, I guess if you're out in the middle of nowhere. And you're hauling, you know, massive machinery. This truck would be great, but uh, for for taking your off-roaders to the trail, it might not have been the best option. It might have been a little overkill. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all about the challenge, right? Well, yeah, the challenge aspect and the fun of it. And I think it's like also, also when you think about how, um, you think about just how how big these trucks are in general. The cool thing about them is that you can disregard the road if you want and go this way. Yeah. Oh god, I hope this isn't a mistake. Oh god. Ah, you look like you're uh... No, my truck no, is staying pretty stable. I might I'm I think I'm good. This could be a bad idea, but I'm gonna follow in your I would say footsteps or I guess tire trucks. Yeah. I bottomed out my trailer a little, but I have enough, yeah, oh yeah, I had enough grip to just pull it right out, pull it through. That went super well. Um, At least super my... well considering. Oh god, that's a little bit of a different angle than I used. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I think I'm good. Oh, I you're, may... If you're that far, you're good. Yeah, I need to use a winch. Come on. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm bottomed out quite bad. Oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, you have it. Yeah. Yeah, you're uh, fine. I'm good. So now, coming up through here, I want to say... I'm trying to figure which way I should go, and I'm like... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just because I feel like we've really deviated from the road at this point, and... Yeah. Ah... Uh, you know what? That maybe I shouldn't have... Number one, shouldn't have come this way because it gets really overgrown real quick. And the only way to get out of here is to go down here through the trees, which has a really <laughs> high potential of hanging the trailer up. Oh, God, here we go. Well... But nonetheless, I think I've got it. And nothing to it but to do it, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's, it's easier said than done, but I think I can... <laughs> I think I can pull it off. Oh, yeah. Well, what the hell? Oh my god. I didn't think it would be able to fit through there. I thought I was going to at least get hung up on, like, like those guards on the front of the trailer. Oh, wow. That's kind of nutty. <laughs> it, it just doesn't seem like this should be, th this should be allowed, you know? <laughs> no, not, not, not at all. I mean, it's... Number one, it feels like you're... It, honestly, it actually feels like I'm just cheating at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but like oh man dude okay i forgot about this but if you go in, into the uh interior view in this truck the steering wheel moves and there's like this i don't know why it's like i don't know why i think it's cool but like I, just because the truck is so ridiculous but there's like a skull shifter that actually like vibrates and moves around oh wow i just seen that yeah it's like <laughs> it's actually a lot of detail that is pretty sick man and then for some reason also, if you look up, they've put the dash up on the um, up on the ceiling. Uh, that's probably so it doesn't hide the work they've done on the actual main dash inside. That's what I was thinking. Because the only thing is I, I just wish that the, the, the dash they put in here, like, if it worked, that would be that would be like the ultimate. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. That would so actually be crazy. sweet, man. Now, I think... Let me check the map. So, we're heading for... Okay. 
So we're gonna head down. You know where the garage is. This is actually it's funny. This is the, the yeah. first the first time we played this map was the first time we ever did any multiplayer together. And when we like when we fired up the map for the first time, I remember it was like I got stuck and then you got stuck and it was just like a big fest of everybody getting stuck. So yes. <laughs> I wonder if this thing will pull it in high. I, oh, nope, nope. <laughs> I was like, maybe, and then it was just like, nope, no, you're you're a little bit optimistic there in choosing that gear. Yeah, and I'm stuck in low, uh, low, high, low three. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I was going to say high, low then, uh, but that don't make sense. Low, high? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Technically, low three is the highest version of low, so I guess you wanted to call it low, high. You really yeah, could, basically, but it yeah. would be, but it would, I mean, everybody would just kind of look at you and just be like, really, dude? Yeah, <laughs> this guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, so I figure what better place, you know, to unload these things than over here at the other garage, right? Yeah, sounds even good. Though, even though we don't have this garage unlocked, it's not like we're going to need a ton of extra fuel anyway. 